Now I'm going to read from Verst. Verst is in two parts. The first part is called Verst, and the second part is called Dark Matter. Address. The way my interest in their imaginary kiss is secretly addressed to you. Without intention, prongs of ivy mount the posts supporting the freeway. It would be possible to say each leaf circumscribes hope, or that each leaf fastidiously coming to one point suggests a fear of the unknown. These glossy, laced up, high heel boots, each leaf addressed to you. A resemblance. As a word is mostly connotation, matter is mostly aura, halo, the same loneliness that separates me from what I call the world. Quiet, ragged skirt of dust encir encircling a ceramic gourd. Lookalikes, are you happy now? Would I like a vicarious happiness? Yes, though I suspect yours of being defective, forced. Operations. This child fights cancer with the help of her celebrity fan club. Says, now I know how hard it is to be a movie star. Hey, my avatar is not working. This small hawk on a wire above tangled flowers. Speech, too, was thought to be inhabited by a god. Then hunger invented light. Charles mentioned that I um, had a serious illness, cancer, some two and a half years ago. But actually, the odd thing is I wrote that poem that mentions cancer about six weeks before I knew I had it, so. Just one of those coincidences. Name calling. Objects are silly, lonesome, as the word ow is. Could we grant them a quorum? Dense with the shiny glossolalia of the leaves, the resilience of open-ended questions? Bud nipped. What the pudendum attempts to pinch off, tries repeatedly what comes to be called pleasure. Those of you who, if there's anyone who doesn't know what, what pudendum means, it's worth looking up. <laughs> For those young people who may be out there. Guess. The jacaranda, for instance, is beautiful, but not serious. That much I can guess. And that the view is softened by curtains. That the present moment is an exception. Is the queen bee a hive serves, or else an orphan? So the jacaranda is foreign and extravagant. It gestures in the distance. Between there and here, you ask what game we should play next week. So we'll be alive next week, continuing what you may or may not mean to be an impossible flirtation. Scumble. What if I were turned on by seemingly innocent words such as scumble? pinky, or extrapolate? <laughs> what if I maneuvered conversation in the hope that others would pronounce these words? Perhaps the excitement would come from the way the other person touched them lightly and carelessly with his tongue. What if of were such a hot button? Scumble of bushes. What if there were a hidden pleasure in calling one thing by another's name? Worthwhile, a rod, a list, a mop-top palm cut out against sunset, chocolate, 
pastries in the shape of pyramids, an elderly bent figure beneath a feathered Stetson. Terry fears she may be risking her job as an afterlife consultant. Melinda is comforted by Jed when she twists her ankle trying to evade an angry ghost. Unanswered questions change things between booth and bone. A string of raindrops dangling from an iron bar reveals opportunities for clarity. At the breakfast table, Mary's dead parents become impatient when she counts the wad of small denomination bills they presented her with on her birthday. See how that's a little bit ominous? I also wrote that before, just shortly before I knew I was, had cancer too. Sometimes I think, you know, your body's trying to tell you something. New. If yellow is the new black, the new you is a cartoon spokesman who blows his lines around bumptious 3D Hondas, apologizes often, and remains cheerful. The new pop song is about getting real. You had a bad day. The camera don't lie. <laughs> but they're lying to you about the camera. Since Fallujah is the new Antigua, sunlight nibbles on pre-charred terrain in the electric fireplace. This is a prose poem. On your way. On your way to the Sea of Reeds, you will meet the soul-devouring demon. You've heard it all before, and you believe it. Why not? Why would they lie? You must wear the beetle amulet to avoid being consumed. But it's also true that you can't really know until it's actually happening. So you have a sort of knowledge which, even if later confirmed in each detail, is still not real knowledge. He will weigh your heart, and if it's too heavy, you'll be swallowed up. What is this extra element that is mingled in when you arrive at the ordained spot? And then that's kind of the beginning of dark matter, which starts here. Around. Time is pleased to draw itself out. Permit itself pendulous loops. To allow them meaning this meaning as it goes along. Chuck and I are pleased to have found a spot where my ashes can be scattered. It looks like a construction site now, but it's adjacent to a breathtaking rocky coast. Chuck sees places where he might snorkel. We're being shown through by a sort of realtor. We're interested but can't get her to fix the price. The future is all around us. It's a place, any place, where we don't exist. Dark matter. Who am I to experience a burst of star formation? I know this. After the first rush of enthusiasm, any idea recedes and dims. Each one is the inverse shape of what's missing. One might try summing the matter up in a single Judas kiss, all bittersweet complicity and feigned ignorance. Unbidden. The ghosts swarm. They speak as one person. Each loves you. Each has left something undone. Did the Palo Verde blush yellow all at once? Today's edges are so sharp they might cut anything that moved. The way a lost word will come back unbidden. You're not interested in it now, only in knowing where it's been. That actually started it didn't continue with this idea, but it started by watching, I can't remember the guy's name, although it, I sort of remember it as being John Edwards, but not the senator, um, who had a show where he pretended to commune with the spirits of people's dead relatives, 
but all the dead relatives seemed to want to say the same thing so that they were sort of indistinguishable. Simple. This is dedicated to my son, who's a molecular biologist. So he and he was trying to, we were talking, and he was trying to get me to not anthropomorphize evolution, but it, I sort of kind of did it anyway. Simple. Complex systems can arise from simple rules. It's not that we want to survive. It's that we've been drugged and made to act as if we do. While all the while the sea breaks and rolls painlessly under, if we're not copying it, we're lonely. Is this the knowledge that demands to be passed down? Time is made from swatches of heaven and hell. If we're not killing it, we're hungry. And this is a a prose poem that was based on movie reviews, so no movie preview, so it's called Previews, and it's in two parts with subtitles. America. The playboy scion of a weapons company repents. His company, he sees now, is corrupt, his weapons being sold behind his back to strong men. Alone, he builds a super weapon in the shape of a man. Now, more powerful and more innocent than ever before, he attacks. Happening, the train halts. An engineer tells us we're stopped because we've lost touch with the outside world. Things are happening ahead, but we don't know what they are. This could represent an act of war. We stand in a field, no longer passengers. Integer. One what? One grasp, no hands, no collection of stars. Something dark pervades it. Metaphor is ritual sacrifice. It kills the lookalike. No, metaphor is homeopathy. A healthy cell exhibits contact inhibition. These temporary credits will no longer be reflected in your next billing period. Dark meaning not reflecting, not amenable to suggestion. Report. What did the men look like? I call 911 but reach a psychic hotline. All the service numbers have been changed. Why wasn't I told? The burglars sneer when I ask the psychic to patch me through to the police. Chuck is searching for help online, but of course the screen freezes. We try joking with the burglars about the telecom system. They laugh menacingly. On the busy patterned carpet, one empty shoe nuzzles its twin. Fade. The new reality is a pastiche of monologues. Fighter pilots in the Gulf worry out loud about their performance. But how do we come into it? Zombie strippers, living payoff to payoff, numbed out, avaricious. So much happiness is caged in language, ready to burst out any time and fade. Apartment. The woman on the mantel, who doesn't much resemble me, is holding a chainsaw away from her body with a shocked smile, while an undiscovered tumor squats on her kidney. The present is a sentimental favorite with its heady mix of grandiosity and abjection, truncated, framed. It's as if I'm subletting a friend's apartment even in the dream, I'm trying to imagine which friend. And I'm trying to get all my robes together, robes I really own and robes I don't. Still, once we believed the bees, moving as attention does, settling and lifting from blue identicals were the picture of eternity. Practiced hands knitting 
hole by hole, a great shapeless scarf, mind on something else. A scarf? Something intensive, seen from afar, something long. Pass. Single cells become like-minded, forming a consensus or quorum. Bioluminescence and virulence are two ways we describe the feeling they share then. With effort, humans can approach this condition. Synchronized swimming has afforded me a wonderful life, says one informant. Why not? I too would like to exert power over time to pass it aggressively, dramatically, and forget all about it until even the meaning of the word pass gets lost in a rosy glow.